him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did eat nor drink. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, which is called Straight, and acquire the house of Judas, for one called Saul, Tarsus. For behold, he was. He prayed. And have seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hands on him that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he hath done by the saints at Jerusalem. And there he had authority from the chief priests to bind all that call on thy name. Ooh. Look at verse 15. But the Lord said to him, Go thy way, for he is a what? A chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the before the Gentiles and what? Kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must what? Suffer, Suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and put his hands on him. I love this. And said what? Brothers, that's why I like calling around here brothers and sisters. Isn't that right? He's now accepted in the family of God by trusting Christ. Isn't that right? Yeah. And brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way, as thou camest, hath sent me that thou mightest what? Receive thy sight and be what? Filled. Wow. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? And immediately... That fell from his eyes as it had been scales. Wow. And he what? He received his sight. I love it. I love this. Forthwith. And arose. Um, Sunday school teachers, you're going to be doing Mark. Study Mark. We talk about it some. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it some more uh, later, Lord willing. But you're going to see forthwith immediately. Quickly. And uh, Paul, the, he went right at it here. But just like Jesus, on the move, on the move, on the move. Uh, Saul, from the day he got saved, from the day he got saved, God did something supernaturally in his life. That quickly he started to get going on. So sometimes people take a long time. Sometimes people procrastinate of uh, getting the gospel up. Oh, he, was, he, he just got on the move. Look what it says here. And so, um, uh, thank God, uh, forthwith and arose and was baptized. And when he had, and when he had, um, uh, received me, he was what? Strengthened. Then was Saul certain days with disciples which were at Damascus. There it is again. And what? Straightway. You're going to see that in Mark. How many times are you going to see it? Straightway. Yeah. Forthwith. Uh, as a servant. Yeah. Jesus, um, no doubt in Mark, um, when, when you read it, you see he's a, he's a servant. Servant, no doubt. Matthew is king. A, 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 amen. Wow. But you're going to see him as as a, as, a son, as a servant there. Now look what it says here. And, um, and so, uh, he, he's, he's right at it, staying right at it, and, and going on for God here. Mm -hmm. And straightway, he preached what? Christ. Preach Christ. And that's what we're doing tomorrow. Thank God for you to love your church. I love our church. But you go out so in, we're going to go out so in, and we got to preach Christ. Thank God you love your pastor. And I love you. But we're not there out there tomorrow night talking about your pastor. Let's preach Christ. Thank God. We're not going to talk about the game and the football and the basketball. Brother, it's Jesus Christ. He was dying. He was buried. He rose from the dead. I mean, God's been good to us. And so we got to spread the gospel about Jesus Christ. And he, the same Christ that he, <laughs> he rejected at one time, the same Christ. And he was mad about beating people up, taking people to prison. Could you imagine? Now he's preaching it. How about that? Friend, friend, this gives us great hope, a great expectation. There's some hard sitters out there, but I don't know. I don't think any of them was hard as the Apostle Paul. Amen. God Amen. did it. Amen. Amen. Someone said the bigger they are, the harder they fall, the faster yeah. they fall. Yeah. Nothing's too hard for God. Amen. Nothing's too hard for God. Amen. We've, had, we, we've I've been seeing some, um, some some hard cases, brother. God's been working lately, lately, lately. I know Sister Barnett, Sister Barnett had one come in Sunday, y'all are doing it. I'll tell you what, it's a miracle. If you knew the miracle, some of these, some of these ones that have been coming in here, you, you praise God. Amen. God is at work, friend. Amen. God is at work. Amen. 
And uh, and so uh, we, we see here that he, uh, in the synagogues, <laughs> that he is the son of God. But all that heard him were what? <laughs> I'll tell you what, friend. I, I, we, we ought to be amazed. Oh, God is, God is at work. And all that heard him were, were amazed. <laughs> were amazed. <laughs> you know, Brother, Brother Wade, you're, you're already saved. You're already saved. You're a child of God. Just trust the Lord. But we're amazed tonight how God has brought you out today. How the Lord answered Sister Wade's prayer. We're, we're just, we're, we're standing in amazed. Amen. Not, not just coming. Just looking at you. They don't know. We, we, Sister Wade knows. Some of us know. But, but just looking at you. God is at work here. God is at work. Ain't that right? And I, no, he was like Apostle Paul. No, he didn't go around. Thank God for that. Kill Christians and all that. But <laughs> thank God he, he did none of that. But I'll tell you what, it, it's a miracle when you see God at work. When you see this precious man coming. Amen. And we thank God for him. It's a miracle. We stand amazed how God is moving. We can tell God is moving. And and, and, and I'll tell you, the Lord has been blessing us. Our soul with him. And converts have been coming. And give God the praise for what he's doing. Amen. Oh, to see God at work in your life and to see what God is doing. You know, we, we sometimes we need to pause and say, Lord, we're, we're amazed. I stand amazed what you're doing and not take it for granted. Amen. You're a miracle. <laughs> you precious people are a miracle. I'll tell you what, God is at work, my friend. And, but but I'll tell you here, here's a real miracle. And he was once taken in the prison, taken him to jail. He was stopping him. <laughs> And causing people, and I'll tell you, even when, when Stephen was stoned, he was the man that said, let, let it be, let it be as a witness. You go ahead and kill Stephen. Oh, thank God the man was changed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, friend, tomorrow night, God can save the hardest, hardest sinner out there. Amen. God can save the most wicked one. God can do it. Mm -hmm. we, we, we need to have double vision, friend. We need to have double vision. And we need to pray for some miracle. I remember Brother Hiles would preach years ago, and he talked about that hard sinner, that the, the, the city drunk, the city drunk. Man, I'll tell you what, Brother Hiles, people say what they want to say. Go ahead, Chris, I want to say. <laughs> to this day, brother, that man, God, what God has done through, 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 through his life, I, I, I don't, in history, I don't, I don't know any other pastor, any other, I don't, the, the miracles that God did to, 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 to that man of God. Amen. But I remember him talking about the city drunk, the city drunk. Mm -hmm. And that guy, man, I'll tell you what, he got saved. And all his, the most wicked people, the, they came out by the masses. And they came out to, to get saved. Come on, somebody say that. Amen. <laughs> I tell you, Amen. Brother, <laughs> brother, that guy, he was so bad that uh, people couldn't believe it. They all came out just to see. They came out just to witness that this man would come to church. Amen. Oh, friend, God, God is able to do miracles. Amen. God encourages us. Yeah. This apostle Paul, he was a mean guy. And I'll tell you, many people got saved after him. Ain't that right? Yeah. And uh, look, look, look what it says here. But all that heard him were amazed. It said, is not this he that what? Destroy them, which what? Call on the name in Jerusalem. And came hither for the intent that he might bring them up. Bound, bound unto the chief priest. Isn't this the man? Amen. But Saul what? Increased. Increased the what? The more in strength. The more in strength. And confounded the who? The Jews. the Jews which dwelt at Damascus. Proving that this is very well. Christ. Oh, they, they said, oh, this is a miracle here. And after that, many days were fulfilled. The Jews took counsel to what? Yeah. Here it is, friends. Trials will come. Troubles will come. Heartache will come. Just imagine that. He went out to kill the Christians. <laughs> and now, they were trying to kill him. Think about that. Was Sister Barney, I said, last night I was preaching. Thank God for you praying. God blessed the meeting. And preached up there. And, uh, uh, up there. And white. White pine. Can you imagine that? Text. God bless. Amen. My wife will tell you. God bless. And I, I share with him. The miracles of God has done in our lives. But I said last night, Sister Barney, can you imagine that? She got saved and started working on the bus route. Can you imagine that? It's a Catholic girl. Can you imagine that? And they used to run 
I mean, she used to run. She used to run from the uh, bus captains. She used to run. Can you imagine that? She used to run from the bus burners. She used to run from them, hide from them. And now she's a bus worker. Loves the bus ride. Goes out there and brings them in. And now they run from her. <laughs> and now they run from her. <laughs> now they say, send the barnets come. <laughs> she used to run from the church people. <laughs> oh, Apostle Paul, God bless him. He used to kill him. Now they're trying to kill him. <laughs> but God bless him. Oh, there's some hum humble people for him. And, and, and you're like the Baptist church. You pray for old Pastor Lindsay. He's up in age, but he has so much affliction. He is sickly man. Yeah. Oh, that man is holding the poor. And oh, he loved me. And I'll tell you, we, we, we just had a time and preached. And thank God for you, precious people. Oh, God gave me. And you know how I am. I, I share the great burden that I have on my You know what I'm all about. God has opened this door to preach in these churches and different nationalities of people not having all black church, all white church. And I stirred them up. I said, now, now up there, white pine, ain't too many people of color up there. I said, but when you find some of them, <laughs> but I stirred them up. <laughs> I said, when you find some of them, <laughs> and brother, they, they get the burden, there's no doubt about it, no doubt about it. They, they, no doubt about it, they'll be looking for some of color. Amen. Amen. If there's one or two up there, they're going to go track them down, brother. But I'll tell you, I said, and I said, even, uh -huh. even in our community, I said, I'll tell you what, we have a responsibility being a black preacher to reach all different nationalities of people. I'm striving here in Knoxville, and we just got stirred up. That's the boy I'm going to tell you. Stir it up. Stir it up. Come Amen. On. Stir it up. Amen. And uh, but God, and let me tell you something, no matter how hard, and I explained to him how hard hearts could be, but you know what? No matter what color a person is, no matter what nationality is, I believe God, let me tell you something, he got the Apostle Paul. And brother, I don't care what color, I don't care what what background, I don't care who they are, rich or poor. God has the power yes, he does. to save them. Amen. And he has the power to get them in church. Amen. Come on. He has power to bring in families. Yes. Yes. And, to do, and, and, and he has and he will. Amen. He has and he will. He has and he will. And sometimes we forget to think about the miracle that God has done here in Knox. Great. And I shared with them. They understood what I was talking about. How we have broken history here in Knoxville. And how God has blessed us. Amen. With uh -huh. a special type of ministry. Amen. I shared with them about the um, conference that we're planning to have. Reaching all race and people. Amen. Everywhere. I shared it with them. And they're so excited. They're so encouraged. That we would put an emphasis on it. Amen. And I shared with them the. The, the stronghold of the devil, but our God is big. He is, he is he's making it happen, and I'll tell you what, you, you, you're you part of it, and sometimes, God forgive us, we don't praise him for the miracles that we see tonight, and here we are praying for miracles, we can't even thank him for the miracle that you are. Amen. 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 The Hansler, make sure, we got to say the name right, the Hansler, the Hansler, say it. Hansler. Hanser. Let me say Hanser. Hanser. Say it right. Amen. This is the miracle Amen. that we need to praise God for. Amen. This is the miracle. Amen. This is the miracle. Are you listening? Yeah. May we never forget God seen us here sharing the need of reaching all different nationalities of people. And she was concerned that when she come to a church, Will they be accepted? Will they be accepted? Will that church have the love of God, the love of Christ, for all different nationalities? Amen. Oh, thank God she came and heard the message. God touched her heart, life. Yes. And her husband's life. The children Amen. traveling around, traveling around, looking for a church. I forgot how many minutes you said. And he's looking around Knoxville. And said, I think I'll go to that church right there. I believe God said, I'm going to lead you right here. Amen. I'm going to work a miracle out here. God is working. God is at work. Oh, you're a miracle. So many miracles. Oh, this is a miracle of the Apostle Paul. 
Oh, Lord, you forgive me, please. God, I'm asking God to forgive me in front of you all. I forget the miracle that I am. I don't, I don't thank you, praise him like, like I should. Lord, forgive me. Oh, the miracle, the miracle that God has done in my life. If you knew where God brought me from, if you knew what God brought me, what, what the Lord done for me. I, sometimes I get so busy, wrapped up in the ministry, Lord, forgive me. What a miracle God did in my life. Amen. Amen. And what about you? Amen. What about you? Right. What about you? Amen. You didn't kill. Look up here, kids. Amen. You, you didn't murder like he did. He said, what miracle? What miracle? What miracle? You didn't go around killing people. He said, how can I be a miracle? Oh, oh, to think about how God, look at you, how God has protected you, how God has prevented, how God, hey, look, 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 young kids, you might be saying, what man? hey, the miracle, you haven't gone out to the devil and been destroyed by the devil and then doing the wicked, ungodly things that so many young people are doing, and, and you know, it's a miracle, you young people, you young people, you say, what miracle am I? And you're serving God, and you're and you're, you're a young couple, and you love God, and you're single, and you're living for Christ, and, and and the devil doesn't have you out there in the world somewhere. Look at the miracle! Look at the miracle! You're not at home watching TV somewhere. You're not out hanging out on the street somewhere. And on a Wednesday night, that God will bring you out of the world of wickedness and the world of ungodliness to come up to the house of God and to praise God and to thank God and to work for. God. God, Amen. the miracle you are. Yeah. Think about the miracle. Uh -huh. The miracle is not God only Jesus. changing a murderer, a persecutor. It's marvelous miracle to be a great missionary like, like Paul the Apostle. Yeah. Marvelous, wonderful miracle to plant churches and uh -huh. to, to, to be used to shake the world yeah. Yeah. from where he came from. Uh -huh. But the miracle yeah. also uh -huh. is what God did. Amen. It's a miracle that the prodigal has come home. For the way he said, he's come home. Amen. For the way he said, I'll, I'll come home. Amen. He said, I'll come home. Amen. You know what he was saying? Do you understand? Do you comprehend it? He said, I'll come home like the prodigal. Amen. The ring. Get the ring. Get the, get the roll. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get, get the fatty cat. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a party. Yeah. Let's celebrate. Yeah. Why? There's a miracle. There's a miracle. Yeah. Hey, yeah. listen to me. I believe what Brother Wade is saying tonight. I've come to myself. Woo. Like the prophet. He said, I'm coming home. Amen. He said, I'm coming home. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Look up here, kids. Look up here. The miracle also is you don't go astray. Amen. The miracle also is you don't go astray. Look at me, kids. Look at me, kids. The miracle is you don't. The miracle is you obey mom and dad. Amen. The miracle is you you obey God. The, 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 the miracle is you 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 say you're gonna keep going so on. You're gonna keep on the bus route. You're gonna keep on. You're gonna, you're gonna be a Sunday school teacher. You're gonna get in the choir. Or you, or you're gonna live for God. If God wants you to be a preacher, or God wants you to be a deacon, whatever it is, the miracle. The miracle is this. Look at me. The miracle is this. Yes. I'm going to stay at it. Because Brother Wayne, I tell you, it's a task. It's a task. Yes. And thank God you made it back here tonight, Brother Wayne. And I believe with your mind uh, uh, centered on, I, I, I see something here. I see God working here. I, I, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. But there's some that will never make it back. They will never make it back, friend. They will die out there. They will die in their sin. They will die with, 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 with uh, regrets. They will die with, 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 with uh, lack of rewards in heaven. They will die. Just they'd have to meet the Lord 
displeased. Jesus be displeased. Some will die. I praise God for the miracle. But don't you ever forget. You heard Sister Wade. You heard what she was trying to say? Yeah, I know what you're saying, Sister Wade. We love them. We thank God for these young people. Yep. And some of them out in the world and they're not, they're not serving God like they should. Yep. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll, they're, 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 not, they're not doing right. They're not doing right. They're breaking mama's heart. They're breaking dad's heart. They're breaking the preacher's heart. You know. But the miracle are you that stay at it. You won't break your mom's heart. You stay at it. You don't break your dad's heart. You stay at it. You, and by the way, we need to thank God for the prodigal of the coming back. Yes, but we need to thank God for these that says, I'm not breaking daddy's heart. I'm not breaking the father's in heaven's heart. Yes, there's forgiveness. Yes, the, we, 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 we rejoice. Yes, we have the party. And I guarantee you what Brother Wade is saying tonight, you listen to me, it's far better to stay with it. You can, you can avoid some unnecessary hurt. You can yeah, have yeah. some unnecessary heartache. Yeah. And thank God, Brother Wade, with God's help, you, you get with it. You get, you get back into serving the Lord. And you get back into uh, doing what God wants you to do. And you, you got grandchildren you want to think about. You got your own you want to think about. And thank God when you depart this life, you want to go out and a good way, not a bad way. Amen. The Apostle Paul always would say, I wish I didn't persecute the church. I wish I didn't kill people. I wish I didn't do God wrong. I, I, I did it ignorantly. I did it wrong. I, 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 the, uh, Brother Wade, what would the Apostle Paul say? I work harder than them all. I work harder than them all. Because he said, by the grace of God, I am that I am. I got to keep with this thing. I got to witness to more people. I got to work harder. Because why? God has done so much for me. And I've got to get on it. I've got to serve him. By the grace of God, I'll do it, he said. Amen. We need some young kids to say, thank God I got a mom and dad that loves me. Doing what they can do to keep me out of juvenile. Amen. Keep me out of prison. You young people that thank God for your mom and dad, look at me. And praise God they come to the church. Listen, God, let them hear. Trying to keep you virgin until you get married. Pure and clean. Hey, look at me, girls. Trying to keep you pure and holy and clean. And I know it's uncommon to hear some preachers preach this. But we still can get some girls um, pure and virgin. And boys pure and virgin. And the first time they kiss in the house of God. And by the way, when you get married, you ought not to be ashamed. You ought to want to come to the house of God and be married in the house of God. Amen. If you ain't messed up. Come on now. Praise it. That's good, bro. Let it get quiet in here. It's, we need to get back in this type of preaching, brother. Bunch of fornicating going on. Bunch of stinking adultery going on. Look at me, kids. Do you look up here? The miracle. And God is doing it. Yep, that's true. When you put on that white dress of purity, it means white. Purity. When you put on, look up here, girls. Look up here. That white dress. And it is happening, and it will continue to happen. But the first time you kiss, we'll be right here at this altar. Amen. First time you kiss that boy, lay your lips on him. He lays the lips on you. it be your wedding day. I know it's unpopular. We'll love them when they mess up. We care. We will be half of the years. We'll continue. We'll pray over them. We'll cry on them. We'll be here and uh, to help them. And we'll, we'll be here to encourage them and have a better future. And, and don't be discouraged and quit and throw in the towel and commit suicide and all that. No, God can still use you in other ways. Amen. Amen. But you help these young girls, young boys stay clean and pure. Amen. 
You help these boys. Listen, little Eddie. Listen, listen, listen to me. I say in front of everybody here tonight. Listen, to me. you're about to graduate. You hear me? You understand? And what you do, you do. Hey, it's your life, okay? But always remember, there's other people that hurt if you do wrong. Your pastor hurt. Your mom and dad hurt. Your church are hurt. A young man, you have nothing to lose going to a good Bible college. You say, I'm not going to be a preacher. Well, I'll tell you what, you can't, you can't go wrong with a good Christian education. It sure make you a good husband one day. It sure make you a good, a better man. When you come out of that, and you're still young, then you want to go on up to some, uh, you know, heathen college and go to some stinking heathen junk. And go be a missionary there. And get your education. But I say, little Eddie, the rest of you, every one of you young people ought to, ought to, ought to go to a good Christian college. You ain't wasting that. Don't listen to these stinking critics. Don't you listen to that. Let me tell you something. It'll bless your future. It'll cause you to be a better servant of God. And brother, when you graduate from there, I guarantee you, you you, you, see, you, 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 ain't, you, you have no idea how many blessings come your way. Amen. It's not in vain. And that goes for the rest of these young people. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, the miracle is when you see these young people go off the Bible college and you see them not quit yep. and get drop kicked and out of the school and all that, and they graduate, you better look at these miracles around here. Mm -hmm. Amen, Pastor Bart. Amen. Amen. These are miracles. These are miracles. And I just pray that you would let God use you to be the miracle. Let's go ahead and pray.